Hi everyone, this is AFC RDTV and welcome to highlights of Bedford Town against AFC Russian and Diamonds on the Southern League Division 1 Central on Boxing Day. Diamonds were looking to avoid a run of three straight defeats with the short trip to Bedford. And in a first half of pretty variable quality, it was the host that would take the lead. Diamonds couldn't get the ball off striker Moore Diop and Afalobi Obafemi for Bedford put them one goal up in the 18th minute. And the closest that Diamonds got was that shot from Tom Lorraine going well over the bar. And in terms of the first half highlights, that's about it. Half time, Bedford Town 1, FC Russian and Diamonds 0. Diamonds really did come out of the traps in the second half fighting and got an equaliser in just the 49th minute. A corner from Sean Richards was deflected twice by two successive Bedford defenders on its way into the back of the net, 1-1. Diamonds started to boss the game, although Finley in the Diamonds goal had to be aware of his saving from Obafemi. Richards would go on to win man of the match and his dangerous ball eventually here fell for Tom Lorraine, who shot just over. And Richards was involved again here. Leslie working hard to recycle the ball. Richards with a perfect cross. And all Tommy Berry needed to do was hit the target past Bedford keeper Reading to give Diamonds a 2-1 lead in the 66th minute. And more chances would come for the Diamonds as they try to wrap things up. There Lorraine going just wide. Dangerous looking ball flew past the face of goal, although no diamond can get onto the end of it. Obafemi was involved again here for Bedford, although again Finley came to the rescue. And here's some pretty frantic diamonds defending, thwarted that danger. There was some drama late on. Bedford's left back Matt Clifford receiving a yellow card. Presumably, referee Mr. Law and the judge that Hall had lost control of the ball. With Reading already picking it up and therefore not being a clear goal scoring opportunity. Full time Bedford Town 1, FC Richmond and Diamonds 2. An important victory to round off a top 2015 for the side. Diamonds finished the year second in the league. And here's man of the match Sean Richards with Bruce. Good call as usual, Pete, and for this Boxing Day. Local Derby, it finishes Bedford Town 1, AFC Russian Diamonds 2. I'm with Diamonds Man of the Match, Sean Richards. Well done, Sean. You have to be pleased with the result today. Yeah, I'm pleased with the result, you know. So we, we came here and you know, our aim was to get three points and that's what we were able to do. It was a bit tough in the first half. We didn't really get into our new, usual rhythm, but I so said in the second half we managed to get the two goals back and, uh, and win the game. I thought Bedford had only really one good shot on goal in all of the first half, but uh, darn it, they did score on that one uh, shot. Yeah, I mean, the goal that they scored was quite fortunate how it landed to the player, but I mean, that was the only thing they really created. Other than that, not much created in the game, but um, it was one down at half-time, but I said we, we, you know, we stepped it up in the second half and we got what we deserved. So it was not doom and gloom at half-time, uh, <laughs> trailing 1-0? No, I mean, only one nil down, you know, there's, there's 45 minutes to go, so... There's plenty of time to get back in the game, and as we've shown, we were able to do that. We stuck together, and uh, so we, we produced the goals. I thought Diamonds definitely had a spring in their step in the second half, and uh, sure enough, you got off to a great start in the 49th minute. Possibly a, a goal by Lewis Leslie, maybe an own goal though. No, yeah, I think I think we're going to give it to Lewis. Yeah, you know, he deserved it. He put his he managed to get across the, across the man to you know to make the contact to put the ball in the back of the net. So it was a good step, and then we, we stepped up from there. Oh, sure, and no doubt about Tommy. Uh, Tommy Barrick with a goal in the 66th minute. Old, Tommy Boy really banged it in on that yeah, shot. It was didn't a great goal, you know, I managed to put the cross in. It was a bit behind him, but he managed to get his body back around it and uh, keep the shot on target, and he got what he deserves. Uh, the last few minutes of the match, obviously, leading only 2-1. A little nervy, but uh, full confidence there by Diamonds to uh, go on for the win. Yeah, well, you know, the, it's natural that the team's going to, you know, throw everything at us and, and try and get get the second goal to, to equalise, but we managed to defend and keep the team compact, and, uh, yeah, we kept them up and we got the three points. And, uh, Sean, on... Uh, Personal note, uh, we're glad to have you with Diamonds. Tell us how it came about that you joined AFC Russian Diamonds. Yeah, well, you know, I was at, I was at Stanford as you before before I came over to Richmond. Uh, I was looking for opportunities just to, to keep playing football. You know, I was out for uh, quite a while, so I just need to play football and play games. And I wasn't really getting that opportunity at Stanford due to whatever reason. So, you know, I came, spoke to uh, Pixie, and uh, he was happy to 
to get me on board and I was happy as well. Well, very good. And uh, finally, I always like to ask new players, uh, growing up, who was maybe one of your favorite players as a kid? Which team did you do you support? Uh, I'm an Arsenal fan. Then, oh, a uh, gooner, a gooner here. A gunner, a gunner. gunner. And uh, Luke Thierry Henry, is, he's a legend in himself. So. Oh, classic. Very good there. All right, well, well done, and uh, good luck against the uh, next game. Arlesey? I was like, yeah, yeah, we're going to go there, you know. Positive attitude, and I think we can take the three points again. Very good. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks Bruce, I'm here with uh, manager Andy Peaks after today's 2-1 uh, win against uh, Bedford Town. Andy, you must be a lot happier tonight than you've been for the last two games. Yeah, delighted to get three points because that's what it's all about. Um, performance wise, say the previous two games, I felt we played quite well and got nothing. Today, we've played in, in spells, but we have got three points and when you read the paper and look at the league, that's the most important thing. You were pleased to get Liam in, I know you had uh, Darren Purse on standby. Yeah, Percy's um, just in between clubs, not sure what he's going to do at the moment. He's sort of left stains. Um, so he would have come out himself if we needed him, if Bully weren't going to be fit. But obviously Bully said this morning he was OK, so I spoke to Purse and he's on the back burner he's signed. You never know in the future if we happen to need him, if he doesn't sort himself out, we'll we'd speak to him and see where we go from there. And the first start in the middle for Lewis into the buns, I thought he did quite well. Yeah, I thought he was excellent. I thought he was all around the pitch, got good energy levels and he dug quite deep at times when we needed to. So yeah, I think for his first full game it was excellent. I don't think the fans were that happy in the first half. Were you happy in the first half? No, I was not. I was, I was annoyed. Um, and I said that to him at half time because the last two games I've backed them, thought the performance has been good. For me, first half, that wasn't good enough for what we thought. I mean, they didn't create a lot either, but for me, it was very one paced. It was almost like not quite doing enough, almost going through the motions. And I felt they got a bit of a fortunate goal. And we looked a bit dead on our feet then, as if we were feeling sorry for ourselves. And, you know, I said in football, feel sorry for yourself. I don't know. You've got to roll your sleeves up, work a bit harder, and it will turn round, as it did. Yeah, we can't complain about the second half. I know I was worried at half time. Second half, they came out, got the fortunate goal, but we needed that after the last two games. We needed a bit of luck, didn't we? It was a great ball in, and if you put good balls in them areas, things happen. That's exactly what did happen. Before that, we'd come out, it just, it was just more temper about the whole team, and a bit more, you know, we're going to get on with this, and we're going to make a, you know, make a fight of it, really. And, you know, I don't, I'm happy with that. They've got to put that in. Um, I only ask people to do what I think they can do, but one of them is like playing at a high tempo and giving everything they can for the club. And second half, I felt we did that. That f uh, first goal put us on the front foot and we deservedly got the uh, the winner. A great goal from Tommy. Brilliant strike, wasn't it? He thought he'd come alive second half again, made them runs, got in some good areas. Yeah, it was a fantastic finish. But again, we had a little bit of luck to get the ball to him. I don't know, I can't quite remember, but other weeks when it's not just dropped, it did then. And, you know, over the season it evened itself out. But, yeah, I think it was really important we bounced back today, a point at the worst to get free after going a goal down. I think it's brilliant and sets us up again. And the good performance from Sean, he got man of the match, deserved? Yeah, I think he's been good. I've, I think he's brought something different to the team. He's been bright in the other games. He's been unfortunate where he's come into a team which has not been playing as well as it can play, so it's difficult. Uh, but he still kept high stands. I thought today was excellent. He's something different. They came into it near the end. Were you getting worried? A couple of uh, near misses? Yeah, I was because I'd have been disappointed from to score. They had a couple of chances, didn't they, really? And we rode a look, but we need that look. Other games we've lost, they've not had any chances. So it so it evens itself out. We were a little bit strung out. They had a lot of people up front. Um, but yeah, Finn has made a couple of saves and they missed the target once. But I always felt we could go and get one as well, to be honest. And a special mention for the fans, they made a lot of noise in that second half. Yeah, they were good. I knew there'd be a few here today. I'm not sure exactly how many, but it was great. And hopefully they've gone home with something to cheer about. I think there were 664 or something like that. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. Great. I mean, it was a great turnout the other night, considering conditions at home, and that was a fantastic following on a Tuesday night. Today was equally as good. So, yeah, pleased for them as we are for all of us. So, this week you've got uh, New Year. What's the training going to be? Training is the lads are having a bonding day, one day this week, at the start of the week. They're going to go to London and have their Christmas do, which is brilliant, which I'm all for. And then we shall train, I think, Wednesday night and be ready, hopefully, for Saturday. Are they in London Monday? Because I'm going to London. I'll, they'll find you, don't worry, John, if you're there. <laughs> Just tell me where they're going. I'll let you know. I'll tip you off so you don't bump into them. Otherwise, the checkbook will have to come out. <laughs> the wife will love that. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, true. Let's move on to another subject. I know there's been a lot of speculation uh, on the forum, and uh, a few of us have known about this uh, for a few weeks. I think you've known for longer than that. Uh, Sam Brown is uh, leaving the club uh, after the Arsley game. He's going on a, on a trip, I think. Yeah, no, he's not leaving the club. He's still registered with us. He don't want to play anywhere else. He only wants to play for us at the moment. But yeah, he's going travelling. He told me at the start of the season, I, I respect that. I've left it for as late as possible. I've got a couple of lads in now, um, Connor and Luke, who can play left back. So they're going to get involved in the next few weeks. But yeah, Sam Brown's epitomises everything about the club, doesn't he? He's come through the youth, he's come back, and he's been outstanding. So whoever plays is going to be hard to fill his shoes. But hopefully he'll go travelling and miss us too much, and he'll come back perhaps the start of next season and I've said to him you know whenever he wants to come back the club's always wanted him back so he's more than welcome no matter what
I don't need love.